Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, this is kind of me doing an uh, a update to the old uh, Sense8 situation. Uh, so yesterday, uh, an announcement went out that basically Sense8 is coming back, but only for a two hour finale to kind of wrap everything up. Uh, I've not read too deeply into it. I've not read any articles and stuff like that about like what went behind the scenes to kind of lead to all this world that was like fan reaction, the actor's reaction, the creator's reaction, or was this just something Netflix are like, no, the fact of the matter is let's give this series a proper, proper ending or whatever. So I haven't read into that. I highly recommend if you are curious, because I typically don't always read behind the scenes on certain things like that. It's like, this is this, and like I can surmise my reasonings behind it and stuff like that. But it's like, if you were curious yourself, I highly recommend you read into it. Um, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of articles that they're covering. Uh, how I personally feel about this. Now, as you know, I made a video like, I hate the fact is that since they got canceled, I really hated that. I wish Netflix did not do that, especially considering the fact is that season two got so positively reviewed. I'm like, even if you had your problems with season one, season two was fantastic. It's a situation where I get it. I understand it's how any network works when the numbers aren't reaching where they need it to be. That's why a show gets canceled. It doesn't like I said it before and I'll say it again Like I wish that a show just being positively reviewed is enough to warrant its existence But sadly this day and age that's not how it works It has to get a certain number of viewership to kind of once again warrant its own existence I hate that mentality, but it's a mentality. It's not just Netflix. Everyone kind of has that mentality So no matter how loyal a fan base is behind something if it's if it's not making enough money to exist I mean and that's that's not just even just television. That's kind of of a business model across a lot of things you stop making things that aren't bring it a big enough profit that's just how business works i mean i wish it didn't work like that i wish passion and love for something was all that pushed it but you know nevertheless that's just me getting all technical with it that's a whole discussion on itself but going back to how i feel about it i have very mixed feelings about it i've, I've talked about it recently like on, on t uh, different occasions like how i feel about something i will always want something to end because the creators are, just, are like hey i like i want it to end not just because like it's a network and whatever the case may be and if they're being given a chance to wrap things up, I'm happy about that. But I hate that it's in a two-hour finale. Because the fact of the matter is, what this means is basically this current storyline where everything is, where the group is going to get Wolfgang back, take down BPO and everything. It seems like that's going to be like the grand off finale. I mean, because also at the same time, this is probably most likely the cheapest option too, considering the fact is that as we left the group in season two, they were all together. So it's not like you're going to be filming in multiple locations. You know, like all across the world, you're just going to be in one central location, so that's going to be easier and cheaper to film. So I'm guessing that's why this is a viable option too. But at the very least, that means they're only going to be tailoring this storyline. I could be wrong, but the fact of the matter is, there's so many other storylines that we will not. I feel like they'll probably acknowledge them and quickly run through them. But like I've said before, like I appreciate Sense Eight because it takes time with its character. It's a very character-driven show, and that's what I love about it. But I feel like you're not going to get like the extent to the stories that you want. Like, well, a great example is like there's so much left to Sun's story. I mean, not just hers, but to everyone's story. But definitely like Sun, like especially how things left off with her brother. Considering it's a two-hour finale, I doubt we're going to really cover that. It's most likely going to be a situation of like when it's all said and done. It's like everyone went off to kind of deal with their respective sh situations, whether or not they get brought up. I, I mean. Personally, I have faith in the creator, like creative team behind it, you know, the creators and the writers to kind of give it a good ending. But I think no matter what, I don't know if I'll be able to walk away satisfied because it's a situation of like, it's kind of, they're being kind of forced to wrap everything up because season two developed so much stuff. Like there's so much story that was kind of unfolded because of season two, focusing more on introducing other uh, clusters like uh, Leela and her cluster like I, I don't even know if they're gonna pop up at all I would assume they might I don't know I mean it really depends on the approach that they decide to take in all of this I mean we would like we would just kind of have to wait and see because I feel like they would need like I, I said it in the original video where I talked about it being canceled that at the very least another season but even then I feel like one season might not be enough to unravel everything but in this case I would rather a whole season rather than just like a two hour block of like finishing this story up because there's so much left there's so much story to tell and I 
I mean, also because it leaves me a little sad too, because it also means because like, something that crossed my mind like has been before, like it's a thought of like how the series would have ended anyway. Is the fact of the matter is like the cluster dying, like this main cluster dying, because like if one of them dies, like there's no like replacing that person. It's like you're a cluster because you were born together, you took the same breath at the same time. So easily this could be a situation, and that's a conversation I've recently had. Like when it comes to a story, do you, are you fine with characters dying at the end? I'm like, I have mixed feelings about it. Sometimes I'm okay with other times. I, like I said, it depends on the story. This is a story like I feel like they could easily go down that route of like wiping everyone out. Could be a situation where it's like everything has a happy ending. Like I'm fine with it. No, I'd rather have a happy ending, but it, it could easily just have a depressing ending too. It might be like, hey, even though they were outnumbered, this cluster stood up the BPO and maybe it's like a situation like it gives other uh, clusters. And since it's the courage to kind of stand up to their own like situation so like i said that's just kind of my whole thought process behind it like like i said i am very mixed on it i appreciate it but it's, it's, i also hate it that it's, it's this but at the same time it's like some closure i guess is better than none in some cases i don't know like i said if they for whatever reason this gets complete like i like i said i feel like i won't be satisfied even if it's like a fantastic indie i'm still not gonna be satisfied because it's like it's not the complete story i wanted so because there are occasions where finales like because it's just kind of a last minute thing i mean it's not even like this is a last last minute it is not coming out till 2018 so they have the time to film they'll craft everything to be what they want it to be in that two hour block and everything so I, like i said i have faith in them that they'll do it a good job but it's just like like I, I won't talk about any specific series but there's certain series that like because of their finales like the the entire series is completely ruined by for me that I, I that i've had that happen where it's just like because it was like a last minute decision and the way it, like an ending was kind of crafted for one particular series I, i've kind of referenced it in the past i won't go to into too much detail about it or what the particular show is but that show is forever screwed over in my mind because of just outside stuff like whether it's just like on the set stuff you know the direction to show what's going to take if it had continued which kind of pissed me off that that was a route not just me but other fans too it's just it's so much to it so i i i don't know like like i said there's a part of me that's like that has faith in them but there's also the part of me that's like i don't think they could ever do enough to really feel that hole in anyone's heart when this whole thing like i know it's stupid but it's like i'm, I'm very passionate about certain shows especially a show that you know you could tell a lot of heart and soul went into it. And I feel like that about every show I ever watched too, because it's like all the like blood, sweat and tears people put into shows. Like no matter how much you feel about a show, even if you're like, oh, this show is shitty. It's like people work their butts off to make a show what it is. And I will never like spit on someone for their work and, and for their art, you know? So at least that's where I'm at in that whole like mind state. So. My question to you is how do you feel about this whole situation? You happy, you sad, or you kind of conflicted like I am? Let me know your thoughts about everything in the comments down below. But really that's all I want to talk about in this video. So the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, little light to the force, and enjoy it. Good day and good.